If you have heard of the following pill, then you're likely a chronic pain patient or living with one. Oxycontin. Oxycontin is one of America's new prescription wonder drugs. The drugs give pain patients the ability to enjoy simple pleasures. I just can't explain uh, how happy I am today. Take these medications. I have found life again, and it's worth living in. And I'm so grateful. Oxycontin. They called it a miracle, the answer to chronic pain. However, as the curtain is pulled back, a more ominous image emerges. Oxycontin, a drug that swept across the medical field in the late 20th century, promised a revolution in pain management. But as the years passed, the narrative surrounding it took a dark turn. Beneath its facade of therapeutic wonder lay a potential for immense danger. The risk behind the relief. Oxycontin, with its active ingredient, oxycodone, belongs to a class of drugs known as opioids. This group of drugs, hailed for their pain-relieving prowess, has a historical track record spanning thousands of years. Ancient text and archaeological findings indicate that as early as 3400 BC, the opium poppy was cultivated in Lower Mesopotamia. The Sumerians, who referred to it as holgil, or joy plant, passed on their knowledge to the Assyrians, who in turn shared it with the Egyptians. By the 19th century, laudanum, an opium tincture, was a common painkiller and was freely available in most pharmacies. Morphine, another opioid, was isolated in 1805 and was later widely used during the American Civil War to alleviate pain of wounded soldiers. Unfortunately, many of these soldiers became addicted, resulting in what was then called the army disease. This serves as an early indication that the line between opioid use and misuse is thin and easily crossed. And Oxycontin, despite its modern branding, was no exception. For the uninformed, Oxycontin might seem just like another painkiller, but to equate it with the over-the-counter analgesics would be a grave underestimation. This drug's potency is its USP and also its primary risk. Just one pill can deliver a concentrated 12-hour relief. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? But herein lies the problem. The very factor that makes Oxycontin effective is also what makes it incredibly addictive. From relief to reliance, the addiction abyss. It begins innocently enough. A patient, after surgery or an injury, is prescribed Oxycontin for pain relief. Trusting their physician, they take the medication as directed. But over time, something shifts. The body begins to expect, then demand the drug. As the pain lessens, the psychological need grows. What was once a path to relief becomes a tightrope over an abyss of addiction. The statistics are alarming. In the United States, the opioid epidemic, with Oxycontin as a major player, has claimed the lives of over 400,000 people between 1999 and 2019. That's more than the entire population of Miami. How does this happen? Oxycontin, like other opioids, triggers a release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure, reward, and motivation. Over time and with continued use, the brain becomes reliant on the drug to feel normal when deprived of it, withdrawal symptoms set in. Nausea, sweating, shaking, anxiety, and an overwhelming craving. This is the body's cry for the very substance that's ensnaring it. From pill bottles to profit, the creator's windfall. Behind the medicinal allure of Oxycontin is a tale of astronomical profit. Purdue Pharma, the company responsible for Oxycontin's creation, launched the drug in 1995. And they didn't just introduce a drug, they introduced a marketing blitzkrieg. Armed with aggressive sales strategies, Purdue targeted physicians, providing them with promotional videos, literature, and even branded swag. Their message? Oxycontin was a revolutionary pain management solution with the low risk of addiction. The result? By 2000, just five years post-launch, Oxycontin sales reached $1 billion. 
This figure doubled by 2002. The Sackler family, who owned Purdue Pharma, saw their wealth surge. In fact, Forbes listed them as one of America's richest families in 2015, with an estimated net worth of $14 billion, much of it attributed to Oxycontin sales. However, as the years went on and the addiction crisis deepened, the rosy image Purdue Pharma projected began to crack. Investigations revealed that the company was well aware of Oxycontin's addictive nature, yet downplayed these concerns in their marketing. This revelation led to multiple lawsuits, culminating in Purdue Pharma filing for bankruptcy in 2019. Oxycontin, a beacon of hope in the realm of pain management, morphed into a symbol of the perilous path between medical innovation and human vulnerability. The drug, while effective for many in managing pain, also became a trigger for addiction for countless others, illuminating the complex interplay between corporate profit, medical ethics, and human well-being. The tale of Oxycontin is not just about appeal, but about a society's quest for relief. The links corporations might go for profit and the resilience of those affected who battle every day to reclaim their lives from the shadow of addiction.